There's not many Legion left for me to align with around here. I might need to broker an alliance between the remnants of the Powder Gangers. Hey there, stranger. Well, no need for tension. I'm just passing through. Any reason you're wearing an outfit worn by prisoners of the NCRCF? The NCR was lax on security, so a bunch of us convicts are running around now. Free to run, and free to rob, apparently. That's what those powder gangers do, is rob passing folk on the road. Why aren't you trying to rob me? That's because I'm not interested in playing bandit. I got a lucky break with that riot, and I'm not wasting that chance. My old cellmates are just going to get themselves killed once they piss off enough folk. NCR, or bounty hunters. What were you serving time for, tax evasion? I ran with a gang back west. Old friends of mine from a small, nameless town. Thought ourselves real badasses for our grand exploits. So one day... We come across these NCR boys, fresh from a tour out here. And you gave them the works, eh? We thought we could take them, prove our mettle. Stupid. So stupid. Yeah, it doesn't prove anything taking out NCR. They're not really impressive. Naturally, we got ourselves shot up. Those of us that survived were incarcerated and shipped off to different prisons. And I ended up out here, in the Mojave. Same place those soldiers were coming back from. <laughs> oh, fun. The irony's not lost on me. <laughs> so why are you squatting here, outside of Good Springs? I'm preparing to move south. There's a source of rad-free water here, which is worth its weight in gold. Plus, the geckos provide plenty of meat. Is there anything you need help with? You're offering your help? Maybe. Just like that. I can't pay you, but if you still want to help, I could use a change of clothes. Uh, a set of leather armor should do for my trip south. Yes, walking around in a prison getup would be rather conspicuous, but wearing General Grady's armor wouldn't. You know, I said I didn't have any money, but I might have a way to repay you. It's a little kit I used back when I was on the chain gang. You can use it to adjust the length of your dynamite's fuse, as long as you've got the tools on hand. I suppose that could come in handy. Well, I suppose I ought to start making my way down to the long 15, then. Oh, and one last thing. I saw some guys from the prison snooping around that old skydiving place. Didn't seem like they were looking for a mark, though. I remember them being among the more trustworthy men in the clink, too. I'm doubting that. Happy trails, and good luck, stranger. Farewell! Farewell. Oh, jeez. Get fucked. Ow! Son of a bitch! What the fuck was that?! <laughs> Mall's residue detected! Prepare to be purged! I'm not quite sure what to make of what I just heard. Morning. Hello. Nice, unique marking on your firearm there. Steak maker, huh? Hello, my name's Lau. Interesting shotgun you've got there. Here's my shotty. It allows me to pop cats in the ass of many buttons who try to square up with me. I've only shot one problem with it. But still. Did the Legion already cut out your tongue? Yeesh. How did you end up in prison? I heard to put down busy. He was the closest thing to the chicken love. I was out in a long while. But she got the hepatitis C, so I had to put her down. Then, the craziest thing happened. A damn school bus comes by, and I spray problem brains all over the first year old kid. I call my shoddy the steak maker. It's not the kid, they're just in therapy. 
pussies. I'll just assume you were arrested for public indecency and leave it at that. Lyle is a reference to Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, I don't know if you remember. There's a scene in Napoleon Dynamite where there's this old farmer that's standing outside. And he's, and he's got a single shot shotgun and he shoots a Kyle in the face right as the school bus is pulling up. I didn't get that reference. Oh. How about you? Hold it right there. Keep it calm and civil and so will we. I always do. What's your business here? I was told some powder gangers were poking around and thought I'd investigate. Who the hell told you about- <sighs> Never mind. If you didn't open fire on us immediately, then you're not with Eddie. I'm not. Since you're not with Eddie's crew, then I got a job offer for you. Some risk, but should be manageable as long as the boys at the correctional facility don't want to gut you on sight. I'm eager to prove that I'm an ally you can rely on. I need you to investigate the nearby prison. You hear of anything that threatens their position there? Report back to me. I think they got wiped out. You might have to do some busy work for them before they'll trust you with anything that could threaten their position. But once you hear of anything potentially useful, report back to me for your payment and the second part of the job. Anything you need to know? I'm pretty sure everybody at the NCRCF was wiped out many years ago. At least that's what I've heard from word of mouth. So who are you exactly? Name's Ramirez. My crew and I are out here on a job, for which I'm subcontracting you. Your crew appears to comprise of one generic NPC, and somebody with a speech impediment, and that's it. Lyle and Jefferson? They're trustworthy. That's all you need to know. Why can't you investigate this yourself? Are you afraid you'll be shot on sight by Zombie Eddie? He didn't take too kindly us probing for weaknesses in his men's loyalty. Said if we showed our faces again, he'd hang our bodies from the towers. A fresh face like yours won't draw as much suspicion. What exactly are you asking me to keep an eye out for? Potential mutinies. Worries about NCR reprisals. Cholera and the water supply. Anything that weakens their position in that prison. Anything that could convince Eddie's men to abandon him. Why do you want Eddie's men to abandon him? Because then they'll be open to joining up with us. Uh, that makes sense. I'm out of questions and ready to get started. Oh, one more thing. Have any news for us? Yeah, Eddie's already dead. I thought that would have been common knowledge. Really now? <laughs> Press of work, friend. With Eddie out of the way, our operations along the I-15 should go unopposed. I'm ready for the next step of the job. Good. Because now we're going to poach the local talent. Fear of NCR reprisal will get those powder gangers to flee the prison. The ones that haven't yet. From there, we'll recruit them to our crew. So go to that prison and convince them that desertion is their only course of survival. If needed, exaggerate. Tell them there's a grand army on the way to wipe them out. Once you've convinced them to leave, send them our way. Yes, I'll scratch your back and you can scratch mine. I'll recruit these powder gangers to your gang, and then you'll report to me as my subordinates. But what is your goal? What do you want to do with this crew of escaped convicts? Your suspicion is understandable, but not necessary. I'll tell you everything when the job is done. For now, trust me when I say I won't be putting these men to ill use. There's enough rapists and raiders in the waste as is. I'm hoping we can get these folks to wage an insurgency against the NCR. Yep, the NCRCF sounds pretty dead. I don't see much movement beyond these gates. Oh, <laughs> there's... Yeah, no one came by to clean up the corpses. Over here. Oh, sure enough, there are like a few that. people here. And they've decided to shoot us on sight. Like well, that. very well. Yeah. They must have us confused for somebody yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. How about you folks? You're more amicable? For some reason, uh, it, it was probably the heat, right? The heat makes people act crazy. Unlike you, civil-minded gentlemen. I don't know you. There's a reason we're talking. Ramirez wants to know if you're interested in joining him. <laughs> I thought Eddie ran him off because he didn't appreciate him poaching his crew. Still, 
I wouldn't say no to a ticket out of here. I'm in. Okay, before Ramirez and his buddies were kicked out, we started passing the word around, seeing who here felt like they had to get the fuck away before NCR came back meaner than ever. Mm-hmm. Plenty of shitheads here feel invincible, but not all of them are thick-headed. I've rounded up a crew who'd be willing to join up, and I've got ideas on how to get more. See, what's keeping most folk around here are the walls, the supplies, and the doctor. The doctor's still alive? I can convince them that the walls ain't worth shit, but if you can handle the rest, we'd have a much bigger crew for the trek out. I'm honestly surprised you guys still have a doctor. Thought he might have been killed during the NCR's attacks. Hannigan barely qualifies as a medic, but that makes him better at it than anyone else here. Plenty of guys stuck around just to have someone to patch up their wounds. Hannigan himself stays here because he figures it's the safest place around. Convince him otherwise, and he'll join. Medics are a commodity in the wasteland. I'll see if I can recruit him. Carter's a quartermaster here, for lack of a better term. He keeps the men stocked with small luxuries like smokes and cards. A lot more of us than you'd think would join just for that. He fancies himself a salesman, so you should try to convince him he'd be economically better off with us, or whatever. I will see if I can talk to these men and convince them to join our side. Hey! Oh, no, the people in this cell block are not happy to see us. If you know, it's always a coin flip with you folks. Oh, hello. Someone's still alive in here. Who the hell are you? Who are you? I said, as if a simple glance at you wouldn't tell me everything I needed to know. You're not a powder ganger. Who the hell are you? I'm a benevolent soul, roaming the wasteland looking to help people. As far as you know. It's just good to see a friendly face, finally. So, how can I get you out of here? Maybe you'll be grateful and decide to join my team. Hold the phone. Did I hear that right? You want to help me escape. If you're not interested, I can always leave you here. Okay, well, if you're serious, I need a couple of things to make an escape possible. You willing to delve into a little skullduggery? Hey, on your way out, you could try taking out Eddie. That would avenge your virginity to a degree. No. It's a good idea on paper, but it's too dangerous. I wouldn't be able to make it out alive. By the way, what made you think I was a virgin before I found myself in this mess? <laughs> this fucking conversation. I am going to need some things before I leave this cell. Firstly, you should know the closest NCR forces are at Brim. To even have a remote chance of survival, I am going to need a stealth boy. I got one of them, yeah. After that, a gun. I think I saw one on a desk, by the main door to the cell block. But if it's gone, then just get me something light and easy to use. Want a spear? I got several. Lastly, some sims. I might get caught. And if that's the case, I'll have to carve my way out. The sims will come in handy there. Well, Titus... Even I can take pity on a creature just so pathetic. And for the record, she is from a, a different mod, so don't go yelling at that mod author for this character. Yep, sure enough, there's some bullets and a gun. Yeah, I got your gun. If you're thinking about getting in my pants, then think again. Oh my god. The powder gankers won't let some traveler out of the wastes in this cell. No, I don't. Here, have a stealth boy. All right. I don't know how to use this, but I'll fiddle with it and see what I can do. Thanks. Great, you don't even know how to use these. That's amazing. Have some stim packs. Good. These will keep me alive in case I get discovered. And a 9mm pistol. You do actually know how to use a firearm, right? Alright. That'll work. Is that all you needed? Yes. That should be it. Those peaks have no idea either. I just need this door open and I can make a run for it. Would, are you sure you wouldn't like to join me? You, you could show your appreciation by being the newest member of my team. Hostage cell key. You're now free to go. <sighs> Here I go. Wish me luck. I never thought I'd say this. 
But I think I've had enough sex for once in my life. Yeah. God, I gotta do everything to help you out, don't I? Morning. Good morning! All right, fine, I'm going back to my actual mission. Hey. It's about time a new customer showed up around here. I was getting sick of dealing with the same faces all the time. I heard you're a trader. As in somebody who trades, not betrays. I was always the guy who could get things, if you know what I mean. Figured I might as well keep on doing it. How would you feel about moving to greener pastures? Krieger is recruiting. I've got it pretty good here, all things considered. I could do better somewhere with more trade, but that would be a pretty big risk. 500 caps worth of risk. Enough money to start over fresh, I'd say. I could give you some money, but I'm worried you might spend it all on cigarettes. Sounds like they're already doing a number on your voice. I wasn't being figurative about greener pastures. Say no, and I'll kill you. I've decided I'm throwing my lot in with Krieger. We're cool, right? That's right. That's one down, one to go. Hello. Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. What happened to your hands? Were they mangled? Were you holding onto a stick of dynamite when it went off in your hands? Why are you sort of a doctor? Is it because you can't hold any of your implements? I was an NCR medic for six months, so I'm not exactly a doctor. Still, it's more medical training than any of the other guys here. I'm here to convince you to join a different kind of crew. Krieger's in it again. I see. I'll tell you what I told him. We got walls, we got guards, and we got dynamite. I even get to skip the dirty business of raiding thanks to my medical training. Why should I risk it out in the wastes? Come on, do you really feel safe here? Honestly? Do I feel safe in a fortified prison with armed guards? Of course I do. The fences have holes in them. The walls are crumbling. If somebody, like me for example, wanted you to die, I would be ripping out your spine right now, and you wouldn't be able to stop it. Trust. Okay. I'll tell Krieger. I'm in. Just calm down. And that's the other one. Seriously, man. <laughs> Maybe we can get you some replacement fingers. Well, your medical skills might not be valuable, but your medical knowledge will, I'm sure. And I'm back. We doing this? We're doing it all right. Okay. I'll gather up everyone and we'll make a quick exit. Where are we supposed to meet Ramirez anyway? Uh, he's holed up at the old skydiving shack. If you see the old plane, you're there. Got it. We'll meet you there. All right. Back to Ramirez. Oh, they're not here anymore. Where did they go? It appears there's no trace of Ramirez or any of the other powder gangers, but he left a note on the table. Hmm? Oh, what's this? Not steak? Oh, he uh -huh. <laughs> left his steak maker. What the? Ha uh ha! -huh. What? Why are you ambushing me? Okay. Oh, okay. Powder ganger hitmen? Really? Hmm. Oh, you left that crappy gun behind as a decoy. Thought you could get the jump on me while I was looking at it. Sorry we weren't here to welcome you back, but Eddie's goons started sniffing around the place and we had to beat a quick exfil. Good job on sending those guys our way. It'll go a long way towards making a difference. I'm impressed you managed to convince as many as you did. No wonder Eddie got suspicious of our little gathering. The boys headed north. With their numbers, they should be able to make it safely without a hassle. Myself, I have further business in the Mojave outpost to the south. Catch me there and we can discuss your next job. Left your payment near the desk, and Lyle wanted to give you a little extra too for how much you managed to do. Good thing Eddie's goons are too thick to conduct a thorough search. Oh, so they weren't backstabbing me. These hitmen must have been sent by the ghost of Eddie. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping I could recruit these guys to be part of my gang, but it sounds like that did not happen. Sometimes you take a risk and it doesn't pay off. But there's still a chance. Let's go to the NCR outpost and see what he's got for us. I've been waiting for a fight. Another hitman right outside? Really? <laughs> A lot of hitmen. Not very good hitmen. We're almost to the outpost now. Time to put on my disguise. Perfect. 
a uh, little clandestine meeting bag here. Hello. You aren't the man I'm looking for. Hello, courier. I am a representative of the NCR, and we know what occurred at the S-66 research station. The what now? Now, under normal circumstances, this would be the moment where we add a lot more holes to your body. But these are not normal circumstances. You see, Dr. Gabriel has been a thorn in our side for far too long. Who? Hemorrhaging resources on useless prospects and ideas, any intel we gathered from him has been of little use. I... We had intended to remove him from his position, that is, until you did it forcibly. So instead of perforating you, we'll be granting you and your reptile friend a pardon. My what? Don't expect such leniency in the future. Good day. Look, I have no idea what this is pertaining to, but I suppose I'm glad we are not killing each other. Carry on. Weirdos. Back here, maybe? Is that you? Ramirez. Hey there. I see you made it out all right. Good to see Eddie's goons didn't give you too much trouble. Oh, you knew they would be attacking me. What happened to the team we put together? The new workers you sent our way were taken to uh, corporate headquarters for their employee orientation. Lyle and Jefferson took them up while I attended to my other tasks. Can you explain to me what exactly is going on? An earshot of all these NCR Joes? I could try to give you a simplified, coded version, I suppose. We can go out back. So, my employer is of the same background as my uh, co-workers and myself. We met while uh, attending the same venue. We were afforded a unique opportunity due to recent events, and he feels that we are experiencing an uh, incredible wealth of potential. A wise wealth of potential that we both feel is squandered by low ambition when it could be used to uh, give back to the community. To this end, we're visiting old friends to see if they're willing to lend their talents to our community project. Ooh, maybe you were secretly slavers. You convinced me to recruit powder gangers, and then you took them away to enslave them. So, why are you still sticking around? I'm awaiting correspondence from one of my peers regarding my employment offer. I've yet to hear from him, and, uh, well, I'm beginning to worry. Why are you worried? Because I followed up by checking his current accommodations, and the place was completely vacant. I checked the surrounding area, came up empty. That leaves Nipton, since I knew his team liked to unwind there. Fine, I'll go find his charred remains. Go to Nipton. See if you can find a man named Dario. Ask him why he hasn't been answering my letters. Simple job, assuming nothing complicated is going on down there. I, I'll go to Nipton, but I can't guarantee you I'll find anybody alive there. I will make you hurt. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun, fun reference there. Safe travels. Yep, be back in a little bit. Just gonna jaunt over. You forgot to put on your disguise, Titus. That's right, my captured legionary. Yes, I'm bringing you to California. You'll see justice. You'll see, you'll see justice done. Ugh. Oh, yep. Welcome to Nipton. We gotta find needle in a haystack. Or a burnt corpse on a pile of burnt corpses. And when they're all burning, they all start to melt together. <laughs> Nobody's taking you guys down yet, huh? Yeah, are you Dario? <laughs> You're probably dehydrated, having been on that cross for, I assume, several years. Here. Have a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. What? Who? Are you Dario, or part of his crew? Dario. The lottery. Those bastards. Hey now. Careful. Dario got off easy compared to the rest of us. Can I get you down from there? 
or would removing you from the cross kill you? Cat just pull me off. I'm too fucked up. I wouldn't make it five steps. Unless... NCR. One of them was a Sawbones, I think. Could use his kit, if you could find it. Last I saw them, they were in the hotel. Legion butchered them. Alright, let's see if I can find something to help you out here. Over here, in this small hotel building? <laughs> Just sitting here? Just sitting here pondering the dead soldiers? What? Uh, who is it? Oh, oh, thank God! Oh, my God, you're not Legion! I thought I was done for. Good grief, what happened here? A goddamn bloodbath, that's what! My squad was on furlough, so we decided to have some fun in town. Then, fucking convicts show up as some part of an ambush. I wasn't too worried then until the goddamn fucking Legion shows up here. I thought they didn't have squads this far west. You thought wrong! Soldiers, convicts, townies, it didn't matter who you were then. Legion killed everyone who fought back, rounded up the rest. Yes, we have a non-discrimination policy. I don't know what they did to them, but... I could hear the screams from here. And yet you are still alive. How can this be? Don't tell me the Legion have gotten sloppy. God help me. I'm a coward. When the Legionnaires butchered my friend, I hid under their corpses and, and smeared myself in their blood and played dead. Of oh, interesting tactic. They left after that. And I've been hiding here since. They're gone, right? Please, please, please tell me they've gone. <laughs> yes, every legionary in town has left. However, I do need your help. Help? With what? No, I think I already know. The people out there, they have been crucified, haven't they? Yes, they have. You need my help? I'm in. Well, that was easy enough. I thought you might have to overcome your trauma for a bit longer. I don't care if it's convicts or thieves or whoever's up there. Nobody deserves what the Legion does to people. I shall respectfully hold my tongue. We'll need my medical kit. I gave it to the general store owner as collateral after I may have broken some shelves while drunk. We'll use the kit to get people out there down. Let's go. I, I don't need all of them down, just the one guy who's got info for me. Yeah, let's go. Medical kit in this building. Well, where are you keeping them, buddy? You find your meds yet? Here we go. My trusty med kit. Okay, uh, okay. I'll get this area set up as a field clinic, and you take these tools to get those men down safely. Man, I just need the one. We need to act quickly before carrion feeders show up. That's not the thing I'm most worried about. Probably gonna die of dehydration before that. Attention, everyone! Some of you are going to be rescued, but we don't have enough medical supplies for all, so unfortunately, we're going to need to draw straws. Uh, just think of it like a lottery. Hey. Oh, wow, well, how about that? I thought for sure there was absolutely no saving that man. Oh, I'd sure feel embarrassed if I started killing these folks, only to realize later that it wasn't necessary. Run! Run and be free! Also, would you like to join my gang? Okay, no, bye. And you. Then you go. And you. And last but not least, the only one I actually care about. You thirsty again? I'm going to take you down now. Go take shelter in the general store. That's right. You're going to tell me everything you know. Provided the sun hasn't rattled your brain. Oh, you I'll take a shelter in here, have you? Alright. Thought you'd want to leave this town, but I guess not. Haven't really made a lot of progress cleaning this place up, have you? Anything to report? I have saved everyone who was still alive. Good job out there. Can I have my kit back? These men can't make it far with these injuries, so this will have to be our fuel hospital. Next, 
One of us is going to need to get help. We're going to need... Oh, shit, wait, what was that? Something's going on outside. Come on. Jackals? Oh, crap! They're here for easy prey. Hey, I need you to take care of them. Not like you have a choice, right? <laughs> They'll be on you as soon as you're out the door. I guess so. Very well, I'll take care of it. Now that you could do anything about it. If it's Legion out here, this is going to be awkward. Over here! Oh, thank God, it's not Legion. <laughs> All right, let's start the slaughter. <laughs> nice blue hair. Wow, what a great ambush. For me to poop on! Yo. Anything to report? It took five seconds. I'm done. I'm just that good at my job. You grade A wasteland badass! Okay, we should be safe now. At least until help arrives. Think you're up for a return trip to the Mojave Outpost? We need serious medical attention here. As luck would have it, I already know a guy. You do? Well, that's fortunate. I'll hold down the fort here in the meantime. A and in case we don't meet again, I wanted to thank you. This rescue, it makes me feel like I wasn't a useless coward. You, you are a useless coward. Oh, and I think one of the gangers wanted to thank you himself, too. Name of Chewy or some such. Oh, the one that was screaming. Okay, I will go down and talk to these powder gangers, and they better not develop an appreciation for the NCR just because an NCR medic is treating them. That would be very counterproductive to my efforts. Oh god, which one of you was the one that was screaming their heads off? What do you need? You're all so generic looking. I owe you big for this. There you it's are. It's not much, but the guys and I pulled together this little reward for what you've done for us. Bunch of pistol powders, huh? Cool, thanks. You're right, it wasn't much. Goodbye. Hey, I'm back. Convenient you're walking right up to me. I saw Whitmire pass through here. Happiest I've ever seen the man. He mentioned a kind stranger that helped him out. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Eh, it might have been me. I can't keep track of all the problems I solve. Well, good on you. A lot of people would have left him to his own fate. Or worse. He was never part of my crew, but I still considered Old Wit one of my people. Back to the business at hand. Nipton's gone. Kaisar's Legion has burned it to the ground. Legion this close to the outpost? Shit, that's not good. That's really not good. I'm assuming that means Dario's crew were among the... Uh, victims. I was able to save a few of them, along with the help from uh, a medic of unknown political affiliation. An NCR medic? I didn't say that. I thought... Uh, Huh. No. That was real kind of them. Kind of you, too. Where are they now? If they were heavily wounded, they couldn't have made it far. Uh, unless the Legion came back to finish the job, they should still be in the old general store. You're probably thinking I don't have the means to evacuate them, yeah? Um, yeah, I guess so. You'd be right, normally. A Merc outfit isn't very well equipped for a large evacuation of wounded personnel. But my boss, you see... He's been in the talks with some interesting people. I'm going to radio him, requisition some aid for this. So don't worry, we'll get that NCR medic home safe. And our people, too. You've helped me out more than you think. So it's time to meet the boss. If you're up for more work or just want answers, swing by our office in West Side. West Side, eh? All right, that's enough talk for now. I have to go make arrangements to get those men out of there. All right, I'm not feeling great about brokering a peace treaty between the NCR and the Powder Gangers, which is kind of what it feels like I'm doing. However, I might be getting in with some influential characters, which is to my benefit, certainly. I don't think this hotel has any beds. Maybe this is just the registry. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hey, Mike. What's up? Welcome to the Nipton Hotel. Would you like to stay in one of our rooms and don't have any fucking beds? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I heard about a waster bribing Dons to get in. <laughs> if you were smart, you would have just threatened that pansy, but whatever. 
Hey. Cap's work too, I guess. I'm Frank, captain of figuring out how the fuck to protect this place from outside incursion. Nice to meet you. It's referencing the chick locked up in cell block C. Ah, her. <laughs> A former member of this facility's late prison guard staff. Her name was Amelia, and boy, was she hated. However, she got a hot, plump ass. Got it. Hey, don't be thinking of anything. She's our booty call, not yours. Right. And... Yes. 